Hello everyone! Today I want to show you an item I saw in the shop display in Paris. Have a look at the photo. This is kind of a jacket, but with poncho style sleeves. There are pockets in this item too. The item itself is made of velvet, and I think that the wrong side is made of wool. You can make such item of any fabric you like. Now I'll show you a sketch of the item. I'm upset because of the fact that I couldn't have a close look at the item. I saw it just through the window. Anyway, we managed to draw a sketch. Let's have a look at it. The item is straight at the hips level. And sleeves start somewhere in between the hips and waistline. They should be round and then turn into the shoulder seams. I think that it's obvious that these details should be double. I'll also make buttons here on the wrists. Now I'll show you how to cut this poncho. Have a close look at the sketch once again. I'll make the sleeves 45 cm long. You can make them as long as you want. I've already showed you how to make mittens. I'll wear this poncho with them. Let me tell you about this design. I'll make a stand collar. It will be about 7 or 8 cm high. It should be comfortable. The shoulder seams will turn into the side and the bottom ones. In the original item the pockets were even higher, but I've decided to make them here. There will also be stitching lines on the pockets. This is how the item will look like. This is the back detail of my basic pattern. I don't need any other details, just the back. This is the sketch. Now I'll adjust the pattern in such way that it looks this way. I want to make the pattern a bit longer, but not much though. I add about 7 cm to the bottom. Don't make such item too long, it won't look good. The length of the sleeve will be 45 cm. Draw a line this way. Start drawing from the shoulder top, but raise it for about 1 cm. It doesn't matter how high to draw this line. It will affect the amount of fabric here under the armhole. Now I need to draw the lower part of the sleeve. I'll start it about 8 cm down from the waistline. That's it. Now I need to adjust the neckline. I'll cut a bit both of the front and of the back neckline. You should measure how much to cut. I cut by sight. Don't cut too much of the back neckline. Now I can start cutting the detail. You need two lengths of fabric to make such item. I bought this roll of cheap fabric to make items for tutorials. You can make this item of any fabric you like. Velvet, for example. Such poncho will look very good if it's made of velvet and the lining is made of fabric of different color. You can make it of silk or viscose. Checked fabric will also look very good. If the line was less bias, there would be more fabric under the armhole. What makes this item different from a regular poncho is the fact that it is of a close fit on the hips. I don't really like ponchos, but this one is very nice. I'll make a button somewhere here. Or maybe I'll move it a bit higher.
The best thing about this design is that you don't need to measure anything. To make the front details, you need to add some fur balance on the shoulders and make the neckline a bit deeper. Have a look here. This is the edge of the fabric. The facing will be 3 cm wide, including the seam. Now I'm drawing the center front. Here it is. This is the center back, along the edge of the pattern. The center back and the center front should match. Not the edges of the details, but the two lines. What do I need to do next? I need to raise the front shoulder for about 2 cm. This is how I do it. I'll make the front neckline about 11 cm deep. I'm not sure if it's enough yet. There are only two things different in the front and in the back. The shoulder and the neckline. I can cut the other parts along the edge of the back detail. Do not forget to add some for the balance to the front detail. When I cut the detail, I'll take it. What is interesting in the item on the picture is that the wrong side the stand color, the facing, are made of the other fabric. I think that this is the best way to make such item. This is the front neckline, and this is the back neckline. I remind you that I just show you techniques. You can change the designs I show you however you like. Use your imagination. That's it. Now I need to make a spacing seam on the center front. I remind you that you can't start working not knowing where the center front is. When I take the item, I'll try it on. That's all for today. Next time we'll continue working with this item. Be different and beautiful. My name is Pauk Shterina. Subscribe to my channel. Goodbye.